everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me. We are working so hard on our beautiful houses and we're building a lovely winter village. Today we're gonna work on block number six, house 15, 16, and 17. Are you excited? I sure am, and I can't wait to do those blocks with you. Let's start. Block 15, it's a beautiful house, and all the directions for cutting you will find in our pattern. The Winter Village pattern is available on our website. If you're just joining us, remember you need a pattern and if you would like to, you can purchase a kit. If the kits are no longer available, make sure you grab a, a Blue Sky Collection bundle that would work just as well for you. Maybe not exact the same color in the same places, but beautiful blues to work with. So happy quilting there and make sure you grab those items if you would like to join us in. I already pulled up a page from my pattern and I placed it right next to me. House 15. I have all my cutting directions right on the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and following those cutting directions, I'm going to cut my beautiful pieces. I'm going to start with my rectangles and they're long right here, nice long uh, strips. Then I'm going to cut my smaller rectangles right here and just notice it that this rectangle C is different size than rectangle D. D, you're gonna keep it in the bottom. I'm gonna need nine little one and a half by one and a half windows and I go ahead and cut them. And you know what I did? I had two leftover windows from a previous house. So I threw them right in here. This is perfect. For my roof, I need a large rectangle in blue and two squares in light and also I need a sashing. I'm going to start by placing my square right sides together with my rectangle and by start making my roof unit. Once I place those two pieces together, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line right there. And I like to notice it 45 degree angle on my ruler. I'm going to place my ruler right there. I'm going to match that 45 degree angle with the bottom edge of both of the fabrics. And I'm going to go ahead, make sure that I hit point and point and make sure you see those points because with your pencil, you want to draw it point to point and I'm using sew line pencils, a pink one. It's really nice and you can very well see that line. As soon as I go ahead and draw the line, I'm going to start sewing from the top straight down. Then I'm going to trim it and flip it open. I have one prepared for you right here. Look at this, how nice it looks. So I already sewn. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab my ruler, place my ruler right next to it. And notice my ruler, I have a quarter inch from the stitch line. I'm going to grab my rotary, cut it. Perfect. Let me put that to the side, put my ruler away. And now notice it when I open it, I got a beautiful triangle right there and I can use my little pressing tool just like this. Perfect. I don't even have to go to my ironing board yet if I don't want to. As soon as I finish the first one, I'm going to go ahead, place my second square right sides together with the roof unit, draw a line, stitch from the center straight down, trim it, flip it up. And this time I'm going to push the seam allowance towards the uh, uh, light here the first one I pushed towards the dark okay towards the blue why did I do that because as I later on want to stitch I want a nice even smooth uh, area right here I don't want a little bump right there if you particular and if you're planning to stitch in a ditch for your quilting yes push both seam allowance towards the dark but because I'm gonna do a quilting edge to edge it does not matter for me so I'm gonna push one seam allowance towards the dark the other seam allowance towards the light all right as soon as you finish this part you're gonna go ahead and grab your rectangles and start sewing them into beautiful rows row one row two row three all of them sewn together let me show you how i did 
I had so much fun doing it and I did a little bit of chain sewing but I did pay attention especially to those bottom unit D bottom unit D those little rectangles because it's easy to miss them and then your windows are not gonna want to lined up so I went ahead and I go ahead and sew my beautiful units just like this and I have my light uh, or blue rectangles next to it that I go ahead and place my my rectangle right sides together right sides together pin 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 sew it flip it open wonderful this is done now i'm gonna do the same right here notice it i already did it i put pins i sewed it i flipped it open pressed it beautiful that's my next unit right here and uh, last one right there with two rectangle on each side now i'm gonna go ahead place this right sides together right sides together just like that are you having a wonderful week are you enjoying a little bit of sewing i hope so so look at it i matched it up and remember we talked about it we want our windows to be in the same line so we want to make sure that they're matching it up they're in the same line because we don't want windows going up and down so pin it pin it pin it pin it make sure that all your seams are matching up do you see what i'm doing i'm folding it i'm checking that it's in the same line yep perfect i'm gonna pin it i'm gonna sew it flip it open add this one to it this one to it and i'm gonna have a beautiful house look at this beautiful house oh i am so excited about it and do not forget remember our strip we're supposed to fold it right sides together with our house just like this place it right sides together pin it sew it because as soon as we're making our houses we are adding our sashings on the side as soon as i finish i'm gonna go ahead press it at my ironing board and i'm ready set go and yes there is a little cutie that you can make it from that big uh, house the pattern size down and we talked about it in our first second and third video how to do that remember so if you just starting go to those first videos and just like i said every wednesday on my blog i post the recipes for those little houses to help you figure it out how to do them so we just finished house number 15 let's do 16 super fun and easy and yes i did a little cutie from that one so for house 16 i'm gonna need a different recipe let me grab that oh right there I'm gonna place it right next to me super okay so that way I know what I'm doing let's start by cutting the roof and it's just a simple rectangle in dark blue then I'm gonna cut my remaining pieces and they are as follow I have a cute little windows I have a wonderful big door I have a larger window you can call it bay window all right so those are my lights then i'm gonna go ahead and do my darker pieces and those are right here small rectangles then i have a nice thin strip that is gonna go right here on the right side that's a c and i go ahead i also have this piece that goes right here and this one that goes right here the e e are both a little bit bigger than the top 1d so pay attention to that and this is what i do at home when i'm cutting my pieces i follow the recipe remember we talked about it a mark it off b mark it off i cut the pieces and i place them right next to me on my little design uh, area right by my sewing machine so that way i have all my pieces i marked it all off i I cut it oh I'm miss, missing a sashing don't forget that sashing right there beautiful sashing and I'm gonna begin by taking my rectangle dark blue putting it with my window square sewing using quarter inch seam allowance flip it open push my seam towards blue and keep going like this till I sew my pieces into rows and I bet you are excited and wanted to see how I did and you are doing your pieces just right there with me 
So look at it. I sewed it all together. Then I sew a strip on the right, strip on the left, pressed it open. Look at that seam allowance. I pushed towards the blue. Wonderful. Everything looks great. And right there, I have my door. And you know what? When I'm sewing my door, uh, unit to my window unit again I'm gonna place it right sides together but I am checking I'm checking I'm making sure that my window is aligned with my top of my door sew it flip it open beautiful add a roof to it side sashing and you are ready set go you just finish another beautiful house house number 16 Oh, how cute. This one is very modern, super simple. Big door, nice skinny windows. I just love this one. Perfect. And like I said, on Wednesday, you can visit our website, go to our blog and uh, get the recipe for the mini house. Oh, this is wonderful. We are almost done with block number six. We have one more home to do it. And this house is going to be made all from the same fabric, the same blue. So let me see. I have all my pieces ready, set, go for you. Starting with my roof. And then, of course, I need my two squares. And I chose the fabric with a, stri a stripe on it. So I'm going to be paying attention to those lines because I want the fabric to go in the same direction. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip my pattern for house 17 perfect that's my last one for today and i'm gonna go ahead and start laying out my pieces this is c right here piece c mark it off your uh, chart then i'm gonna go for piece b another piece b this is wonderful this one has a great big wonderful windows so i'm gonna lay those out this is a little rectangle that it's gonna go between the windows i'm paying attention to all the pieces i'm cutting them and i'm laying them out those are the little squares for the top of the windows and the bottom of the window like i said it has two beautiful top windows this window is a little smaller and a wonderful door all right i got all my pieces ready set go and this time no sashing because this house is on the edge of the row so the houses that are on the edge of the row they don't have a sashing because they're going to be next to the border so nowhere about sashing and you know the routine place your fabric right sides together rectangle and a square to create a roof and remember the horizontal lines that have to go horizontal if you want them to flip and go up this direction you have to position them horizontal to the roof for the assembly you're gonna draw a line you're gonna sew it you're gonna flip it up and then you're gonna finish with the second one and look at this i just did mine the first one is already done i trimmed it and i pushed my seam allowance towards the blue now it's time for my second square and i'm gonna go ahead draw a line stitch and now position my ruler quarter inch away from that stitch line I'm gonna trim it and now look at this wonderful I'm gonna go ahead and finger press just like this wonderful using my lovely low tool and I just made my roof unit a flying geese unit I really like making my units this way this is great now I'm gonna go ahead take a square place it with my window sew it flip it open do the same thing in the bottom right here sew it flip it open keep going pushing my seam allowances towards the blues this is wonderful towards the blue so one after the other and as soon as i finish i go ahead add a strip on a side do you see what i did i had a strip on this side and i'm gonna go ahead and add two the bigger strips on the left and the right side of this unit then i go ahead place it right sides together i'm gonna use this piece on the top so that way i can show you and look at it's not matching i want it to be matching so i want to make sure that this is matching so let me crease it right here 
all right now this is in the same line or you can use a ruler and a pencil and now i'm gonna match this seam right to it perfect so i'm gonna go ahead pin it beautiful pin again go ahead stitch and everything is gonna look just perfect for you oh what a wonderful wonderful house just beautiful and remember when you finish your houses you need to check if there are measure their measurements right here on the bottom corner of each recipe for each house and it tells you for example this house needs to be seven and a half by thirteen and a half if it is fantastic if it's not you need to trim it square things up it looks like i'm gonna need a little trimming and squaring up and that's what i'm gonna do uh just before i start sewing my blocks into a row so we just finished all the beautiful three beautiful homes for this week and it is house 15 16 17 for our block number six and now we can sew all of them together into beautiful row and can you imagine we are on a third row of the house we only have one more row and we're gonna have a beautiful winter village and then it's gonna be time to start thinking about what do you want to do for the borders if you're just gonna do a simple border like i did just around the quilt with the touches of applique or would you like to do something more and exciting like adding maybe one of our quilters dozen blocks those are low stars that look just wonderful around the quilt and i did show a picture on my blog to show you how those low quilters dozen um so to star look around the quilt so some fun decisions if you would like one of those those are on our website yes those are quilters dozen blue sky and they're 12 uh, so to stars in it you can do something uh like i did on my blog and i i have four boxes and i did them all the way around the quilt or you can purchase one box and scatter the stars here or there and this would look just as beautiful so something to think about it if you want to add to your quilt for now i am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you visit our website for any needs and also to see our blog so you can get those free recipes for our little mini houses. And they're gonna be posted on Wednesday. And please remember, thumbs up, make sure you enjoy it and leave us wonderful comments. We are so thankful and we wish you happy quilting. Mm -hmm.